I'm the uh, producer on this broadcast, and we're joined with Anton McKenzie, who's an Ottawa Red Black. Unfortunately, you've been injured uh, this season. Yes. Uh, I thought maybe we'd talk about uh, what it's what it's like for you, uh, um, you know, being being having to watch from the sideline as opposed to playing with those guys this year. Well, it's uh, very tough. You know, my first year actually missing a full season. Uh, this is my ninth year of football in CFL, so it's been real tough watching being hurt, especially with the young team that we have and uh, a difficult season that we're having, so it's been very tough. So, uh, you know, what does that mean for you? Like, what have, what have you had to do now because of, you know, the unfortunate situation of being injured, but uh, uh, are there other kind of ways of stepping up as a leader and a veteran? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I work with the linebackers day in, day out all the time, on the field, off the field, meetings, about film, about life, about anything. You know, we have a lot of young guys, first to, first to three-year players, you know, so they're learning a lot just about Canadian culture, Canadian football and everything, so I try to help out as much as I can on and off the field. So uh, tell us a little bit, where, where did you grow up? You're, you're a New York kid, aren't you? I'm a New Yorker. I'm from Long Island, New York, okay. actually. Uh, my family's from Brooklyn, but I'm from Long Island, born and raised. I uh, went to school, University of Massachusetts, Amherst, and uh, became a first team up here in Saskatchewan in 06. Won a great cup 07, and then I was... Uh, I let go of Saskatchewan in 08, went to BC as a free agent in 09, and uh, won a great cup 2011 there, and now out of the Red Black. So uh, having been around to a few of the, uh, the places in, in the CFL, uh, how do you like Ottawa, and, and what, you know, what do you think about the football community here being involved with in the yeah. Ravens this year? It's, a, it's amazing out there. You know, uh, Ottawa is one of the only major cities in Canada I've never been to, obviously, so I was actually very eager to come here and play. And when I got here, the fans were amazing. Uh, I learned the history of Ottawa football with the Renegades and the former Rough Riders. So I learned a lot of history about Ottawa football. And now the OUA and, and, and uh, CIS football up here. And I've been around the community seeing football, and it's a great feel. Yeah, well, um, we're, we're just ecstatic that you're uh, you're involved, and um, we work with the uh, Amateur Football League a lot. Yep. We do uh, a lot of filming with them, and to have you guys out and to just to have the presence. I know to the to the kids playing, it's a, it's a huge boost to the sport. Yeah, and uh, it's just been it's just been great. And um, what uh, I guess the next question I'd have for you is is what are, what sort of stuff do you think you're going to be getting involved in the off season? You told me uh, before that you. Yep. Gonna stick around here in the yeah season. i'll be here this whole off season working with uh the football team obviously and training getting ready for next season and you know we talked about football before i want to be around football here around training helping kids training kids and working with camps i i, I do a mckenzie report where i i introduce new things to football and we're going to be talking we're going to be talking about, about that, that. Yeah. yeah so it's a lot of things i want to do in this community that will help bring football big in ottawa more as much more it is now and get some guys going here to cfl helping out and the other sport teams in Ottawa. That's awesome. Now, I got to apologize in advance. I saw a tweet the other day of you doing some dancing at uh, one of the high schools, you and Justin. Um, what school was that at? I actually did, um, that was at Jockville. Okay. Jockville Elementary School. That was yesterday. Me and Justin went to go. You know, uh, I try to get out in the community as much as possible. And, you know, the children and the kids, they look up to us. And as athletes, you know, we're role models. So we have to set an image. And I have fun. I think I have more fun sometimes than the children, so I, I, I love it. It's awesome, man. Well, I want to thank you for joining no us problem. up in the booth, and uh, we know you're going to get down on the on the field for the second half and, yep. and chill with Tyler down and we'll there. We'll see what happens in the second half. Hopefully Carlton can come away with a victory. Yeah.